This video is for educational purposes. Des Moines is the capital and most populous city in the U.S. state of Iowa. It is the county seat of Polk County with parts extending into Warren County. It was incorporated on September 22, 1851, as Fort Des Moines, which was shortened to Des Moines in 1857. It is located on, and named after, the Des Moines River, which likely was adapted from the early French name, Riviere Des Moines, meaning, River of the Monks. The city's population was 214,133 as of the 2020 census. The six-county metropolitan area is ranked 81st in terms of population in the United States, with 709,466 residents according to the 2020 census by the United States Census Bureau, and is the largest metropolitan area fully located within the state. Subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Des Moines is a major center of the U.S. insurance industry and has a sizable financial services and publishing business base. The city was credited as the number one spot for U.S. insurance companies in a Business Wire article and named the third largest insurance capital of the world. The city is the headquarters for the principal financial group, Juan Transportation, TMC Transportation, EMC Insurance Companies, and Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Other major corporations such as Wells Fargo, Cognizant, Voya Financial, Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company, ACE Limited, Marsh, Monsanto, and Corteva have large operations in or near the metropolitan area. In recent years, Microsoft, Hewlett Packard, and Facebook have built data processing and logistical facilities in the Des Moines area. Des Moines is an important city in U.S. presidential politics, as the state's capital, it is the site of the first caucuses of the presidential primary cycle. Many presidential candidates set up campaign headquarters in Des Moines. A 2007 article in the New York Times said, if you have any desire to witness presidential candidates in the most close-up and intimate of settings, there is arguably no better place to go than Des Moines. Des Moines takes its name from Fort Des Moines, 1843-46, which was named for the Des Moines River. This was adopted from the name given by French colonists. Des Moines, pronounced, Des Moines, formerly Des Moines translates literally to either, from the monks, or, of the monks. One popular interpretation of, Des Moines, concludes that it refers to a group of French Trappist monks, who in the 17th century lived in huts built on top of what is now known as the ancient Monk's Mound at Cahokia, the major center of Mississippian culture, which developed in what is present-day Illinois, east of the Mississippi River and the city of St. Louis. This was some 200 miles, 320 kilometers, from the Des Moines River. Based on archaeological evidence, the junction of the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers has attracted humans for at least 7,000 years. Several prehistoric occupation areas have been identified by archaeologists in downtown Des Moines. Discovered in December 2010, the Palace is an expansive, 7,000-year-old site found during excavations prior to construction of the new wastewater treatment plant in southeastern Des Moines. It contains well-preserved house deposits and numerous graves. More than 6,000 artifacts were found at this site. State of Iowa archaeologist John Dorshuk was assisted by University of Iowa archaeologists at this dig. At least three late prehistoric villages, dating from about AD 1300 to 1700, stood in or near what developed later as downtown Des Moines. In addition, 15 to 18 prehistoric American Indian mounds were observed in this area by early settlers. All have been destroyed during development of the city. Des Moines traces its origins to May 1843, when Captain James Allen supervised the construction of a fort on the site where the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers merge. Allen wanted to use the name Fort Raccoon, however, the U.S. War Department preferred Fort Des Moines. The fort was built to control the Sauk and Meskwaki peoples, whom the government had moved to the area from their traditional lands in eastern Iowa. The fort was abandoned in 1846 after the Sauk and Meskwaki were removed from the state and shifted to the Indian Territory. The Sauk and Meskwaki did not fare well in Des Moines. The illegal whiskey trade, combined with the destruction of traditional lifeways, led to severe problems for their society. One newspaper reported, It is a fact that the location of Fort Des Moines among the Sac and Fox Indians, under its present commander, for the last two years, had corrupted them more and lowered them deeper in the scale of vice and degradation, than all their intercourse with the whites for the ten years previous. After official removal, the Meskwaki continued to return to Des Moines until around 1857. Archaeological excavations have shown that many fort-related features survived under what is now Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway and First Street. Soldiers stationed at Fort Des Moines opened the first coal mines in the area, mining coal from the riverbank for the fort's blacksmith. Settlers occupied the abandoned fort and nearby areas. 
On May 25, 1846, the state legislature designated Fort Des Moines as the seat of Polk County. Arizina Perkins, a school teacher who spent the winter of 1850-1851 in the town of Fort Des Moines, was not favorably impressed. This is one of the strangest-looking cities I ever saw. This town is at the juncture of the Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers. It is mostly a level prairie with a few swells or hills around it. We have a courthouse of brick and one church, a plain, framed building belonging to the Methodists. There are two taverns here, one of which has a most important little bell that rings together some fifty borders. I cannot tell you how many dwellings there are, for I have not counted them, some are of logs, some of brick, some framed, and some are the remains of the old dragoon houses. The people support two papers and there are several dry goods shops. I have been into but four of them. Society is as varied as the buildings are. There are people from nearly every state, and Dutch, Swedes, etc. In May 1851, much of the town was destroyed during the flood of 1851. The Des Moines and Raccoon Rivers rose to an unprecedented height, inundating the entire country east of the Des Moines River. Crops were utterly destroyed, houses and fences swept away. The city started to rebuild from scratch. On September 22, 1851, Des Moines was incorporated as a city, the charter was approved by voters on October 18. In 1857, the name Fort Des Moines was shortened to Des Moines, and it was designated as the second state capital, previously at Iowa City. Growth was slow during the Civil War period, but the city exploded in size and importance after a railroad link was completed in 1866. In 1864, the Des Moines Coal Company was organized to begin the first systematic mining in the region. Its first mine, north of town on the river's west side, was exhausted by 1873. The Black Diamond Mine, near the south end of the West 7th Street Bridge, sank a 150-foot, 46M, mine shaft to reach a 5-foot thick, 1.5M, coal bed. By 1876, this mine employed 150 men and shipped 20 carloads of coal per day. By 1885, numerous mine shafts were within the city limits, and mining began to spread into the surrounding countryside. By 1893, 23 mines were in the region. By 1908, Des Moines coal resources were largely exhausted. In 1912, Des Moines still had eight locals of the United Mine Workers Union, representing 1,410 miners. This was about 1.7% of the city's population in 1910. By 1880, Des Moines had a population of 22,408, making it Iowa's largest city. It displaced the three Mississippi River ports, Burlington, Dubuque, and Davenport, that had alternated holding the position since the territorial period. Des Moines has remained Iowa's most populous city. In 1910, the Census Bureau reported Des Moines population as 97.3% white and 2.7% black, reflecting its early settlement pattern primarily by ethnic Europeans. At the turn of the 20th century, encouraged by the Civic Committee of the Des Moines Women's Club, Des Moines undertook a City Beautiful project in which large Beaux-Arts public buildings and fountains were constructed along the Des Moines River. The former Des Moines Public Library building, now the home of the World Food Prize, the United States Central Post Office, built by the federal government, now the Polk County Administrative Building, with a newer addition, and the City Hall are surviving examples of the 1900-1910 buildings. They form the Civic Center Historic District. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. See you in the next one.